Hi folks, Bob Dale for Southern Ring Marketing in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell trucks, folks. We sell lots and lots of diesel trucks. We sell them only on eBay. day. <coughs> Today we're going to list one of our most popular trucks. Uh, we get so many requests, and this is the kind of truck that everybody asks for. It's a 2010, 2010 Ford Lariat F-250. Got it all, folks. The engine has been tuned and deleted. Everything's been done to it. It's only got 123,000 miles on it. This truck's got every option. It's got navigation, it's got heated seats, it's got swing out mirrors, it's got everything. Dan's gonna take you on a drive, he'll point out all those options, but it's fully loaded. Sitting on a matching set of tires, beautiful rims, Ford factory rims, 35 inch tires, the spares underneath it, just like it should be. The bed's not been tampered with. A great truck, perfect ride and drive, and it's gonna be a bargain. Pay $70,000 for a truck just like this, folks, or you can buy this truck for a pittance of that. The only difference is that $70,000 truck is going to cost you about $40,000 to drive it for three or four years, and this one's going to cost you barely anything at all. Come on, we're going to show it to you. Beautiful truck, great stance, see how standing up, how clean the lights are, the chrome's all in great shape tow hooks and all. These rims are wonderful. The tires are good. It's got a little spot right here. It's not going to show the pictures. A little ping. F-250 Super Duty four-wheel drive. Keep this entry. Absolutely a great truck. Come on, we'll show it to you. It's pretty much immaculate on the inside. You can see here in the back. I get, is that a power mirror? It is. Power slide and rear window carpets are beautiful under here you can see the seats seats There's aren't torn no smoke odors no Arm pet odors good. power here look power at, on both sides look at the carpet down here son brand new steering wheels perfect navigation factory yeah, navigation it's not some oddball off-brand heated radio. seats swing out mirrors this is a nice truck and I'm not going to say it's a big boomer truck because there's no such thing I have found people are broken to that, but it's a nice truck, folks. Look under here, no, no rust. It's a southern truck, a local truck, no rust. It's got the old van, Dan calls it, the old van step up back here on the back. Tailgate works just as it should. The original uh, spray-in bed liner. That's some kind of factory work solutions uh cable lock system so i guess you can if you got gear ladders or tool bags or whatever you can lock them down with that huh. and keep them from getting stolen it does have a toolbox we take those two boxes for granted folks until you decide you need one and you go buy one and they're several hundred dollars but it's already on here it's clean on the inside once again you look down here and you can see absolutely zero rust no issues got a full exhaust system done but it's got a muffler so it's not we all, loud we always have to talk about rust folks because 99.9 tenths percent of our customers come from the midwest the east coast up there and where the trucks are rusted down very shortly and so that's always a concern the first thing people ask us if we don't talk about rust i'm going to open up here you can see down the side here well step back and look son there's not any dings and pings and and uh, it's just not been ragged out. You can look inside here. It's never been a work truck, never been a farm truck. No rust down on the cab corner. Power the on the bottom of the doors. Power on both sides. Uh, carpet's beautiful underneath there. Let me open the store and look in the back. Show that headliner. The headliners always show up, folks. They don't show up good, but trust me, the headliner is nice. Got the books. Got the uh, owner's manual and the DVD instructions and the DVD, DVD. Got all that good stuff to go with it. Just, just look, look in here. You can always tell folks if they've ever been a work truck or a farm truck, because that'll be full of dust and mud and, you know, we can't The mud, the crud, and the beer. Yeah, the mud, the blood, and the beer. A long time ago we worried about that in the F-250 Super Duty. I did point out it's been 
tuned and deleted and all that. You can fly in folks and drive this truck anywhere. Take a nice trip when you come down to pick up this truck. I mean, everybody gets in such a hurry. It's a beautiful drive, beautiful part of the country, lots of things to do. Uh, take a couple of three days and enjoy your visit when you come to buy it. Make, make, it, make a trip out of it. People get in such a god-awful hurry. But this is a wonderful truck, great truck. Dan's gonna take you on a drive. Uh, not much else you can say about it. It's a fully loaded, I mean, it's got everything. 2010 Ford F-250, it's only got 123,000 miles on it, tuned and deleted, it's barely broken in. These trucks go hundreds of thousands of miles. Sitting on a match set of tires, the spare underneath it, the bed's never been cut. The interior is absolutely immaculate. It rides and drives just the way it should. Zero issues, everything works. You'll be tickled with this truck. And I promise you, we sold a lot of 2010s. This is gonna be the best bargain we sold in a 2010, I think. So if you've been looking for a new truck and you've been to the Ford dealership or your local used car dealer and you got sticker shock, shop around, then call us, watch the bid, bid if you please. You'll be real, real pleased. I can assure you that you can buy this truck thousands of dollars back of any price you can find at any used car dealer. 2010 Lariat, four wheel drive, turbo diesel. Not much more you can ask for, folks. Stands up great, rides and drives great. Wonderful truck. Thank you so much for watching our video. We do appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Hi folks, Dan Dale here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this truck. Now I'm gonna take you on a test drive. But before I do, just wanna point out a few things. First of all, we don't clean under hoods. This is just how it came in to us. So you can see you don't have to worry that it hadn't been mud bogged and all that kind of junk. It even has motorcraft batteries, which that alone should tell you how well this truck's been maintained because motorcraft batteries, are really expensive. They're nearly 200 a piece when you can go to Walmart and get three year batteries for under 100. So that should tell you how this truck's been taken care of. You can see from these impact marks on the core support bolts that the radiator's been replaced. That's the, the one weak link in a 6.4 diesel is the radiator, but already been done on this one. The good thing though is you can see it's got this sinister diesel. That's a high flow intake elbow drops about 100 degrees off your exhaust temp and you can't see it because it's gone but the EGR cooler is deleted uh, in addition to the DPF underneath I'll go over that in more detail in just a minute but now I'm gonna hop in take you on a test drive okay now that we're in the truck I'm gonna turn this down real quick one thing I like about the 09s and up they have a lot better navigation system they don't need nav discs <coughs> they're easier to update you can see this one has the uh, full navigation map screen, six disc CD changer, uh, got the sink, you can plug in USB or auxiliary input, upfitter switches, tow command, power adjustable pedals, power rear window, overhead console, automatic dimming rear view mirror. Um, speaking of the mirrors, they're power folding, now you'll see the glass is gone from this one. We have it ordered. It will be included with the purchase. We just ran out of time. Uh, we need to get it listed, but you can see, or maybe you can't, but it does work. Uh, most of the power mirrors work. They're heated, which is why it's taking so long to get the new glass in, because it's heated. But I want to show you, first of all, before we take off, you can see no warning lights are lit. And you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work, because I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of Jackson and although the video may come out a little shaky on here rest assured that in person this truck has just a great ride and drive um, doesn't have a bunch of squeaks or rattles it's tight um, one little rock pick right there and one right there in the windshield but no cracks or anything it even still has the Super Duty logo up top. But of course, the best thing about this truck is that's about half throttle. 
this thing is tuned and deleted and by god it has got some power it's got an h&s mini max tune in it and the good thing about these six fours compared to the six o's is you can crank up the power without any repercussions it's not going to harm the longevity of the truck to uh to turn the power up which is really a good thing because these trucks stock have 350 horsepower you can turn them up to as high as 650 horsepower and it's 650 reliable horsepower you don't have to to worry about tearing the engine up doing it it they'll take the power you don't have to worry about head studs any of that crap my last truck was a 10 and um that thing i could leave it turned up to 650 never took it off 650 whatever tune you put it on doesn't really affect the fuel economy i mean maybe half a mile per gallon at that but it's not much so i left it turned up and i could i pulled a 38 foot scarab from miami with it turned up and never had an issue exhaust temps never got too high anything like that the, but the big benefit of course by doing a dpf delete is your fuel economy these newer trucks they use that def def fluid to clean their soot filters which is another name for the dpf but these six fours the way they clean theirs is they set up the engine so every now and then it would dump a bunch of extra fuel into the rear two cylinders and burn the soot out <coughs> which was fine but it killed the fuel economy obviously and not to mention if you weren't on top of your oil changes like you're supposed to be then what would happen is the extra fuel would slowly get past the piston rings into the crankcase and you thin your oil out which if you keep your oil changed like you should was you know minuscule but if you didn't stay on top of your servicing then it would add up it would thin out the oil and cause rocker problems and all kinds of problems but it's been deleted on this truck and what that does is gets rid of the soot filter and picks up the fuel economy I, I, i've seen them and i don't know you know we haven't driven a tank or two full of fuel through this one to find out exactly but you're looking at this truck should get anywhere from probably 19 to 22 miles a gallon on the highway you know if you're not doing 80 if you're doing you know speed limit which would be hard to do in this truck believe me because it's got a ton of power but that's the biggest benefit because it just it saves you so much in fuel and and it's a benefit that you can't always get from deleting the newer trucks these six fours are the ones that pick up the most and what i like about these is you can turn the power up or you can leave it stock and it doesn't hurt anything now we have an h&s mini max race tuner that we can include with this truck uh, but it's extra money you'll have to just call me and i'll explain it to you better my number is 601-376-9869 but what we will do at no extra charge we will set the power wherever you want it so if you come down and pick it up in person we can go for a test drive and um, let you get a feel for it or if you're shipping it it's fine i can uh, be glad to discuss the different power settings and um, pick the one that you think will suit you best the other cool thing is i don't know if you can uh, you can see in the rear view mirror but if you hit the exhaust just right you can roll some coal that's that black smoke coming out now in normal driving it doesn't do it so you're not going to notice smoke at all just in normal driving but there's a certain way if you give it a lot of fuel a lot of pedal but not enough to make it downshift what it does is dump extra fuel into the cylinders and blows that black smoke which is real nice if somebody's on your back bumper and you want them to back off well don't pull black smoke on them they'll move but there's diff there's five different settings for that too so we can turn it down to no smoke whatsoever we can turn it up to hardcore smoking or we can leave it you know where it's at right now which is no smoke unless you want it to uh, or unless you just floor it then it'll smoke 
you know, until it winds out. But um, anyway, I can explain it more if you just call me 601-376-9869. Be glad to explain everything, how the DPF works, the, the benefits and all that. You can see we're cruising down the road. This truck doesn't pull, doesn't shake or vibrate, doesn't vibrate when you hit the brakes. Um, just has a great ride and drive, especially to have these big tires on it. You know, most of the time you get some big tires and they make a lot of highway noise and they ride rough and, you know, I'm not going to say this rides like a Cadillac, um, but it rides real nice. So we encourage you, if you want to fl just fly in and drive it home, I would not hesitate to get in this truck and drive it anywhere. Just have no qualms about doing that. It fires right up. You can see I've been driving it nearly 10 minutes and there's no engine lights on, no warning lights, any messages, any, anything like that. And we try and show you that after we've been driving a while because you know, it's easy for somebody to, to kill a warning light or something and take a picture and just show you real quick. But if the, the underlying issue is not resolved, then after you've driven it a little ways, the light's going to come right back on. So that's why we like to show the dash after we've been driving it so you can see that there's no issues we hadn't tried to to rig anything up or anything like that because we know most of you are buying sight unseen and although we encourage you to come down and you know we'll pick you up at the airport no extra charge and come back and do the paperwork and feedback and let you get on the road um, even though we encourage that and we'd rather you do that we understand a lot of you don't have time to do that and we send most of our trucks up north because ours aren't rusted out so not everybody has time to get down here and they have to ship it and we're not gonna run the risk of bad feedback over a ding or a parking lot not working or you know something silly so if there's something to nitpick basically what I'm getting at is we try and nitpick it you can see the steering wheel not ripped or torn the dash has no cracks in it uh, Truck runs and drives great. Horn works, wipers work, all that good stuff. Um, if you have any questions about this truck, give us a call. If you're interested in shipping, don't be scared off. If you get on these online sites and they give you quotes for shipping, don't let those prices scare you off. If you're not um, in a big hurry, we can save you as much as half off the the usual online quote and by not in a hurry i mean it may take a, a few hours it may take a week or so but it just depends but we can find somebody to ship this truck for you we're set up now with the website that 99 percent of the independent truck drivers use to book loads and most of these shippers you see online they're not really shippers they don't have a fleet of trucks they're brokers and they get online they charge you a couple hundred dollars and then you pay the, sh the driver the rest of the money when he drops it off well what you're paying that driver is all it really costs to ship the truck because these people are getting on this same website that we can get on now and they're getting on there and they're posting the ad for dispatch and somebody picks it up and they're making a couple hundred bucks, you know, for five minutes worth of work. So we've cut out the middleman on that. We don't charge anything to help book the loads. Yeah, if, if you're not somewhere out of the way or in an oddball place, you can figure on roughly 50 cents a mile. But it's best if you text me or email me your zip code and I can give you a real good ballpark, you know, within a hundred bucks or so of what it's gonna cost you. And we don't charge anything you pay everything to the driver when he drops it off so there's no issues and uh, make it a real smooth simple transaction so we just do it to help our customers because i know a lot of you are scared by the thought of fooling with shipping and finding somebody and doing all that so we're going to do it for you now if you um again if you have any questions you can call us and i'll be glad to explain more about how that works and or if you have any questions about the truck
call us, anything like that. That being said, we appreciate you watching our video and hearing everything we have to say about this truck. And we look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you.